Okay, so now we're back in the Airbyte Connector Builder UI and we're gonna set up the global configuration. Obviously, you can see two things. We have an API base URL as well as an authentication method that we can set up. And with APIs, they're all a little different in terms of how they handle authentication. If you click this drop down, you can see that we have API key, bearer, basic HTTP, OAuth, and session tokens. So you can kind of choose depending on what the API is requiring here. If we go to the Stripe API reference, docs, which are fantastic, by the way, you can see that we have our base URL here. So we're going to go ahead and click that, copy that over and paste it. And now in terms of how they handle authentication, like I mentioned, it's going to differ in terms of how the API specifically wants to handle it. But so we have our test API key and we need to add it in as a bearer token, which is how they kind of require it. So I'm going to go ahead and click bearer. And down here, you can see that this is going to be the bearer token that gets injected as a request header for authenticating with the API. If you look at the top right hand section, there's going to be a testing values button. And what you can do here is simply just paste in your API key that you have for whatever API you're using. And then this will be used as testing values when we're calling the different endpoints we're going to be setting up later. And so keep in mind that these test API keys will not be used on when we publish this connector. This is only for testing purposes and will not be published when this connector is live. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So now we have the global configuration set up with our base URL as well as our authentication method. Now let's go ahead and set up some streams so we can actually test this.